All right, so today I'm going to modify the transmission cross member. So here it is unmodified, and um, this we're looking, we're standing at the front end. So um, what I'm going to do is I drew a sharpie line at the end of these holes. So we're going to cut across all the way, and then we're going to go down the sides, and then I'm, then I'm just going to cut that section out. That's the first thing I'm going to do, and then I and then if you look, this ledge on the top is longer than the ledge on the bottom. See, so then I drew another sharpie line. I kind of want to save as much as this as possible, so kind of right where this rounded edge stops, we're going to make another cut, and then and then kind of kind of connect the two cuts and get that part out of there. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. So there's a weld, welding these two halves together. So I kind of want to keep keep that strength intact. But there's videos online going over this. Pierre, Pierre's got one P71C1 in his transmission swap part seven video, and then there's another guy, uh, Vincent Sulak S-U-L-A-K or, or something like that. S-U Stulak S-T-U-L-A-K I think. Um, he's got one as well, and there's there's information on the forums as well how to do this. But basically, the transmission needs that clearance because there's a little uh, nubby nubby part that goes in there that the automatic doesn't have. So we also have to move these holes up. So that's another thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill uh, whatever this is 10 millimeter. So about a 10 mil. That's about. 10 divided by 25.4, whatever that, whatever that equals, that's that's the inch you code, and so it looks like about a 3 8 hole, so I'm just going to drill a 3 8 hole, an inch up, and an inch up, and then and then just elongate these slots, and as well as on the bottom. So as, as on the bottom, we got to make these holes about a, an inch bigger. So that's what I'm going to do. Get out our old trusty 999 Harbor Freight grinder. Every Pretty much every tool I've used in the swap, including the floor jacks, are from, is from Harbor Freight. So. Let's cut number one. Here's the piece we cut out. It's hot. So that's cut number one. And um, next we're going to work on the bottom half. So the bottom half, we're just going to go across, across that line. So let me uh, flip it over and get set up for that.
All right, so that's that. You can see what we just did. Uh, now I'm going to get the grinder out and kind of clean up those edges. Change, change bits. That's what we're going to do there. Now I'm going to go get the drill and drill two holes. I'm just going to grind flat, uh, you can see that rust. All that rust where the old mount was. But first got to plug the grinder in. Four. Since we had such a hard time getting the cross member out, I'm just gonna hit the hit all four pockets with the uh, wire wheel. Get all the rust off, hopefully. Because we hit the pry, we're going to bang this where we bent it, we're going to bang it back.
I don't know why, but this can only works if you hold it upside down. All right, I wanted to go over some of the parts I bought. Um, so this is a brand new uh, pivot ball for a clutch. Um, these are new flywheel bolts. These are brand new ARP uh, pressure plate bolts. Here's a flywheel. This is from a 2004 Mustang um, single overhead cam, 4.6 liter. I think it was about 60 bucks. 60 or 65 bucks. And then this is the Luke, the Luke clutch. So, um, what I want to do first is get the is get the um, throwout bearing throwout bearing installed first. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, we're gonna put the pilot bearing in. If you look, it has a uh, shoulder right here where my finger is, so you wanna, uh, that part goes out, this part goes in. Okay, so the next step we're going to do is uh, start to prepare to get the, the five-speed in there. So um, I actually had the transmission in already, and I cut out those videos because I made a mistake, and I'm about to tell you that mistake, and it was a stupid one, and I should have just listened to the videos and other guys in the forums, but I didn't. This is the plate that goes between the engine block and the transmission, and um, your rear main seal kind of goes all behind here, there's, that's what these little holes are for the rear main cover to come off. And the flywheel, the flywheel um, interferes with this plate. It fits over the crankshaft just fine, obviously, because it came off of the automatic, but with the manual transmission flywheel, it rubs here. And everything bolted together, and then I was watching the videos again that Pierre posted, and, and I was like, uh, let me just check that. So before I got everything bolted up, or sorry, before I got the transmission cross member in, I just rotated the engine over with a ratchet, and I could hear, I definitely I could hear it rubbing on this, so I pulled the transmission back off, and we and we do have to, in fact, modify this. So I've drawn with a Sharpie. We're just going to kind of cut all this material out with our die grinder, our angle grinder, and... Um, There's the flywheel. Yeah. Okay. So now we've got the pressure, sorry, the flex plate. I keep calling it a pressure plate. Flex plate and flywheel. And you can see that this area on the flywheel is much larger than this area on the on the flex plate so that's why it interferes that's the problem you see this area needs to be removed and I, I didn't think that that was a problem but and you can actually see right here where I think it was mounted I think I had it in the car like that yeah that would make sense because this would be the engine this would be the engine side because the starters over there so yeah that's exactly what that rust line is for. You see how I had it on there? And uh, it, it bolts up and it fits, but it really needs to be cut out. So I, I uh, cause it gets sandwiched between the, this plate and the transmission when you bolt it all up. So that's more all that story, just so you can see. Sorry, kind of 
windy out today. But so we're gonna cut this plate up. But that's why I just wanted to compare the the flywheel, the flex plate, and this shim. So let me get that done. Um, and then we'll put it on the car. All right, here we go. We're gonna cut these uh, along the lines. Alright, that's how you do that. Alright, so sorry about the wind, but nothing I can do about it. So we're gonna put our freshly primed plate up there. Alright, we've got our prow bearing in or a pilot bearing in. Next we'll do the flywheel. Now remember, this only goes on in one orientation, so you just gotta... What I do is I look at one bolt, line it up, and then see off all the other ones do. And that one, that's not it. So I'll rotate to the next bolt. Nope. So that's on. Now we get our clutch, clutch, pressure brake, and alignment tool. Wipe it off with some brake clean. Okay, now you put the clutch disc in. And the way it works is there's a alignment tool, and this side says flywheel side. So you put that in your pilot bearing. Like that. Line up the alignment pins, and then you get your pressure plate bolts. Thank you. 
Alright, so now that you saw me put the put the spacer flywheel clutch pressure plate in, now we gotta put the trans in. Um, before I put the trans in, I installed the clutch fork and the throw out bearing. Alright, we're getting everything prepped to put in. Uh, um, I torqued them by hand, by feel, but the, the flywheel bolts are supposed to be 85 foot pounds and the pressure plate bolts are supposed to be 35 foot pounds. So I got the Here's our clutch alignment tool. You can see that it, you know, it goes in there nicely and uh, we're ready to put the transmission in. So I applied a little bit of grease to the diaphragm fingers. Here's our transmission. I've got the, I've got the new throw up bearing in. I've got the new clutch fork ball, pivot ball put in and tightened. I put some grease behind here. I put some grease on the clutch fork here. I put some grease on the, I'm gonna put a little bit more maybe, on the face of the throw out bearing. I put some grease on the sleeve that slides. And then I put a little bit on the splines and and there. So we're, we're good to put it in. Um, so let me uh, get that set up and we're gonna try and pop this baby. There she goes. Oh shit, that was hard. All right, when you're putting this in, come here. Oh, okay. When you're putting this in, on the driver's side, you got three bolts one right above the clutch. Here's your clutch hole. This is where the clutch goes. You got Three. This one, this one, and then the very top one. So these two, the two bottom ones are the. There's all, there's two different length screws. There's seven total. Two long ones. One of the long ones has the stud. So the third one up is the stud with the long one. And then on the other side, the passenger side, there's only two bolts. The bottom one's the short one. The upper one is the long one. And then the very top of the motor, which we haven't put in yet, those are two short ones. I got burned the first time I put this in. I was trying to put a long one in the upper hole, and it wouldn't bottom out. I didn't realize that there's two different length bolts, so um, when you're doing this, just pay attention to that. So now we've got all the driver side ones and in the bottom. And I'm going to shine into the... There's our um, pressure plate area. There's our clutch fork. You can see our throw up bearing sliding. So that should be good to go. All right, we've got the transmission all in. Um, all seven bolts are tight. I also put this uh, the little dust cover on. I'll show you that in a minute. Next, we're going to put the starter in. Um, these are our three 10 mm bolts again. So these three bolts and then the electrical connectors, same as same as removal. Um, I'll show you that little uh, plate. It's the same one that came off the automatic. Hang on. Get under there. Real simple, no, no, nothing major. Um, there's a right here. This this plate. You got a 13 mil screw here, and one on the other side. So that's just the the dust cover for the <coughs> for the flywheel. And then there's our prime. Well, just primed uh, engine spacer. We got that in, so there's where the starter's going to go. So um, that's next. All right, starter's in. Just like that. Pretty simple. Got our two wires hooked up. Put the cover back on. Uh, now I think we're going to do wiring. 
that's our next step. So I think that's what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do. That's the last thing I want to do before I uh, put the cross member back in. So if I can get that the wiring done today and the cross member back in today, I'll be happy with that. Um, so there's two things we got to do. There's the uh, reverse lights and the speed sensor. So let's 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 work on that.